coaches on the road, taking the youngsters behind the scenes with the MLB stars of the game. I'm over here in Tampa Bay locker room, and I got the man here for Tampa Bay. <laughs> ben Rhodes, my catcher. So, Ben, being in the big leagues, what's the experience like for you? Man, it's awesome. You can't really take it for granted. It really flies by. I mean, everyone's going to tell you that, but you don't really realize it's still happening. I feel like yesterday I was in high school. Um, minor league is kind of like my first couple years. I was having fun, but it gets too fast. You kind of realize how it is a business, and you want to take it pretty seriously because the years do fly by, and everyone's trying to take – I mean, everyone's pretty much trying to be where you are and take your job. So just can't really take it for granted. And – but at the same time, have fun with it. You know, it is a game. And I would tell my guys that the quickest way to the big leagues is pitching and catching. And you just so happen to be one of those too. Yeah, I mean, there's some there's positions like pitchers and catchers that are always in need. Um, sadly, it's it's a position that gets pretty banged up. The lifespan is pretty short. But um, there's never enough um, good pitching and catching around. And rumor has it that you're the man over here for the race. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea about that. I'm a new guy in the block. I'm just trying to lay low. <laughs> okay. So what is this getting here? I mean, they say it's easier to get here than it is to stay. Which, what, what would you say thus far? Yeah, I mean, the teams are always trying to get better. They're looking to push players and give players, hopefully give players opportunity to have high upside. But the thing is, is, is really being able to contribute to an organization or a club and find value in those players and being able to build trust in those players to roll them out every day and have success. And one of the hardest things is never to be satisfied when you're at this level and being able to go out every day and, and to perform because, like I said, there are always, are always players that want to be at this level and are working as hard to take your job and be in this spot. So it's something that every day you have to really have a chip on your shoulder for, to prove yourself. And they say this game is more mental than anything else. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's obviously pretty physical, but it takes a mentality to come in every day and get your work in and stay on top of everything that goes into um, playing every day and being able to perform on the field. You know, back in the day, you know, I've been in this game coaching and scouting for 40 years now. You know, you just went out there, you put down two fingers, and you call the pitch. Now you got all this video and technology that comes into how you call the game. Yeah, um, there's a lot of information. It's, some people want to see it all. Some people don't. Some people like know what they uh, like to see, but it's, it's all it's all at your disposal to use, and then you're able to use it in however way you want. Hopefully, it's helpful, and hopefully, you don't get lost in it. But it all is is, is good stuff, and. Um, just aiming towards helping you to be as successful as possible. And what about this roller coaster that Major League ball players had to go through? It is what it is. Um, you have to prove yourself, you know. And then um, if you're not having success, it's just the next man up who can help the team win. Because at the end of the day, it's it's about winning. So you get that call up that you're going to the big leagues, walk into the locker room for the very first time, see a uniform hanging. What's that feeling like? Yeah, it was cool. Um, Awesome whirlwind. I mean, um, it's hard to. I mean, you want to take it in all at once, but it's um, it's hard to do it just because things are flying by so fast. And I just remember um, being a catcher. There was just so many things on on kind of on your plate that you have to deal with at the same time getting ready for a game. That it's almost a good thing that you're kind of thrown in the fire right away. Right away. You have a lot of things to do, and it's not a lot of time to think about kind of what's going on. So, but yeah, it's 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 a it's a pretty pretty special feeling seeing it for the first time. Did you cry? Oh, when you I got... You could tell. Did huh, you cry? Um, I think I got... I think I might have gotten teared up. I was emotional for sure when I got the call, but in the clubhouse, no. But it was kind of like when I found out. Found out. I finally got a big league of midi cry. Yeah, yeah. Mama cry? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Coach Shaky Youngs is behind the scenes. Man, for Tampa.